hello guys and welcome back so we have added all of the shooting functionalities now in this video we will add a fire charge to our rifle for example if we try to hit the cabin so whenever we hit the fire button then it fires this cabin as you can see we don't want that we want the rifle in a burst mode okay when we hold down the mouse left button then it should fire bullets constantly and also we don't want to fire infinity bullets okay we want to add a fire charge so when we reach a certain limit then we want the firing to be stop and then start again so let's go ahead and open up the rifle script and after this uh, shooting range let's create a fire charge float so we will say public float let's name this as fire charge by default this will be equals to 15 f it will shoot 15 times and then we will add a stop so that the player will stop shooting now after this let's create a private float by the name of next time to shoot and by default this will be equals to 0 f and then right here in the update function we have this if condition right here we will say if we press the fire button and the time dot time is greater than or equals to next time to shoot then what we want to do we will simply set the next time to shoot to time dot time plus 1f let's divide that by the fire charge that's it now let me save it get back to unity now let's play the game and actually before playing it let's select the AKM let's change this to normal so that we can see the next time to shoot and the uh, charge okay now if you play the game okay we forgot to remove this cat button down okay set this to get button now because we want to fire in a burst mode okay we don't want the single shot firing so just change it play the game and now you will notice that when we hold down the left mouse button it will fire in in burst mode okay as you can see now okay let's test this out again as you can see now the next time to shoot is increasing as you can see okay so this is how you can add a fire charge to the rifle and with this done see you guys in the next video